Feral Gas Friday is brought to you by Feral Gas, your hometown propane provider in Ovid and Cander, New York. Welcome into another Feral Gas Friday down here, this time with Brandon Buick. Brandon, uh, how are you enjoying the city of Elmira so far? Uh, Elmira is awesome. Uh, you know, there's a lot of good community people here. We, uh, it's a small little town like where I was raised up in, so, you know, it, it, I fit in really well. You get the chance to see a... a Big crowd here every time we play a home game. Last week you guys played three, including a matchup with the New York City Police Department. Can you talk about the, uh, that experience and what that was like for you guys? Yeah, you know, the police are uh, really involved here in the community and everything. The fans, uh, we couldn't do it without them. You know, we bring in lots of fans here. And um, it's, uh, it's a great experience to be in Elmira playing uh, for the Enforcers. All right, so once again you get the chance to uh, play here in the bowels of... Uh, uh, Elmira's first arena, you look around at the empty seats, but uh, normally as you sit here, that's they've been pretty full all season long as we're about to head out to Danville. What's the experience been like to play in front of sold-out crowds and playing in an arena like this? Uh, you know, playing here at the first arena, I feel like it's electrifying. we got a lot of, a lot of community support. Um, you know, on game day, this place is pretty, uh, pretty loud compared to right now, but uh, yeah, you know, all the boys love it, and uh, there's no place uh, we'd rather be. When you guys have had the opportunity to do a lot of traveling, the travel part of the schedule, winding down, uh, last trip to Danville this weekend, uh, getting to knowing you're going to be playing a lot more here at home, uh, is there kind of a spark to that, especially with the crowd you just talked about? Uh, yeah, you know, we want, we want to pull out as many wins as we can from the crowd. I'm pretty sure the, the community has a lot to do, to do with those wins, you know, them coming out and supporting us. Uh, we wouldn't be here without them. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going into Danville. Yeah, you know, gotta love the, the love the bus trips. Everyone, that's part of hockey. And uh, you know, it's uh, seasons wrapping down slowly. And as you get the chance to play a few more games here, you've seen uh, the sort of spectacle that uh, the ownership likes to put on, that the front office staff does. Uh, what's that like for a player? I mean, to see I, we've been everywhere else. We've seen the fire in Port Huron. We've seen. Uh, Danville goes dark. Uh, Carolina has a big blow-up machine, but nobody quite does it like Robbie Nichols and the uh, Elmira Enforcers. No, it's definitely a, it's definitely a, quite a show. <laughs> you know, it's not just for the fans, but for us players too. It means like so much. You know, just to be a part of something like that, something so, so spectacular. Um, like I said, there's no place we'd rather be. You know, we all feel the same, and uh, we do it for the fans. Well, and talking about doing it for the fans, what got you to be a fan before you started to play? What was the journey like for Brandon Buick? Uh, you know, it's been a long road, long, uh, winding road, you know, through the ups and downs and everything. But as a hockey player, you just got to stick it out and uh, like take the adversity and just keep on striving, you know, keep your head up. Well, and as you go through your game day routines around Elmira, is there certain places you like to go, certain areas the boys like to go to eat, or uh, is it kind of every day is a little different? Uh, you know, every day is uh, a little different for sure. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a stay-at-home cooker. I like to stay at home, you know, cook my own meals, like, clean and healthy. But, you know, every once in a while we like to have a treat, you know, go to, like, uh, the sub shop or we like somewhere like that, you know. Okay. Now, you staying at home and cooking, uh, that's a talent that I know a lot of boys haven't mastered. Uh, we've gone through this for about 17 weeks now, and I've heard one other guy say he stays home and cooks. That's Prendy. Uh, he's a he's a home cook. Uh, he's a certified chef, apparently. So, uh, where, where on the level are you at with the certified chef? Well, I ain't no certified uh, <laughs> chef on paper or not, but I can cook up a mean meal, that's for sure. So, it's between you and Prendy for the uh, best cook award? Yeah, I can. Uh, I could have a standoff about that, for sure. <laughs> Maybe we'll get uh, Iron Chef one week. We'll oh, do Iron I'm Chef on my Enforcers. I'm in. <laughs> so as we head out to Danville, of course, uh, the compete level is at an all-time high. You're second place right now looking at a playoff spot. What is the drive in the room at this point? Uh, you know, the, the playoffs are coming down slowly, so you know all the boys are uh, pretty much dialed in, and uh, we're just trying to keep uh, keep the wins up you know, until playoffs come. This is all preparation for the... For the playoffs, you know, um, playoffs are the beginning of April, so uh, it's all just work, work till then, you know. All right. Well, thank you so much. This has been Brandon Buick. We're going to be back next week with another episode of Feral Gas Friday. Stay tuned. Thanks,